Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll and getting to start. Connor Siebel. Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. All right, ready to get underway. So in now for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. They say you win. The pitch. Ball one there. And here it comes. And that one a little bit high. Top of the zone for a called strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Caught him looking for the K. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And here is number nine. Trying to bunt his way on. McMahon tosses across the first. Bunt attempt doesn't work. They get the out. Third, the first baseman, number 23, Brandon, Brandon Drury to the plate. First oh, offering cool. misses the mark. Oh, and there's a ball. That's now three and O. Oh. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. And he walked him. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Logan Ohapi. That one finds the corner. Strike one. The pitch. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. Holds it in on the warning track. Angels strand one. And now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. There's no score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Denver. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell 
fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. We go to the bottom of the first, and now the DH, Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And the pitch. Slapped foul. Next offering is down low. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. The one two and that one just oh, missed off the outside edge. It's a good take. Next offering upstairs. This one popped up. Fletcher moves under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball one. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball two. On the inside corner for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Now here's Nolan Jones. Just off the inside edge. And now the lefty. Hard ground ball base knock. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Chris Bryant now. Ball one, no strikes. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. And a pitch out, but nothing going on.
Next offering upstairs. Ryan McMahon to bat next. The pitch. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. The Rockies strand one, scoreless after one. Back here at Coors Field, top of the second, here's Joe Adele. Joe Adele. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. So the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Puts it away for the out. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Yeah, the first offering is not close. And that's in for a strike. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. That's out to center field. Doyle brings it in with a nice run and grab. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. And the first pitch misses for ball one. No score here in the second. Good eye in that spot. Check swing, no appeal. On a line, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's David Fletcher. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Angels leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting six. The first baseman. And now here is Lowry's Montero. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. That is seven. Not shortstop. Man at first with one gone. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That smash towards center. Dives for it. Got it. Makes the play. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over it. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. Austin wins. Digging in for the Rockies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. And that's in for a strike. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. Didn't go. And a 2-1 on the way. And that's in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. And now two and two. That's hard hit on the line. Brings it in for the third out. So one left for Colorado. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's going to be Brett Phillips. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Seabold back to work just missed so how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it it's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat he thinks this ball is going to get down because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart the one one is fouled off there's one guy that i can think about Boog who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Next one in the dirt. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a... Yeah, there's ball four. Oh, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Randall Gritchick now let off the game with a strikeout. Runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Jones flashes the leather on the run and catch.
So digging in, number nine. He's 0 for 1. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Looked like it was a little bit up. The 1-1, one -one. Phillips go. runs. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. Into the bleachers and gone. He made him pay for that one, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now, Brandon Drury. First pitch, just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 1 0. That one fouled off. Gonna count one and two. And that one upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. That's a hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now the catcher up to hit, Logan O'Hoppy. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Still only one out here in the inning. And now the count is even. And the righty deals. Ball, that pitch is up. Yes, yes. Runner on the goal. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Drury around second, headed for third. Now a relay to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. So up next, Joe Adele. 0 for 1 so far. First offering misses badly for ball one. In there at the knees. Oh, 
And another ball. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. The 2-1. Out in front and foul to the left side. That one inside. And now three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. Two gone. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And the batter now, Eduardo Escobar. Flight out to center in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. And he deals. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Wins going back on this one. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the right-hander deals. Three. Called strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Angels three, and the Rockies nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Brenton Doyle. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Strike two. And ball one. Inside. And down on strikes he goes. One away. So the lineup flips over. Next for the Rockies is the DH. Charlie Blackman. In there at the knees. Going one. Just missed. Here's a one one. Yep, that ball went out. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The 2 1. And that one off the outside edge. And it's ball four. He missed down low. 
Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Runner on at first with one gone. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. There's a strike. That's down and in. One and one. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Good eye right there. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. This to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So first and second with one man gone. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. And he's already singled in this game. First oh, offering and it just misses. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Tying run at the plate. And that's, that's doubted well, away. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. One out. Runners at first and second. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Line, and that's a base hit. Here comes the runner. The throw home. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a two-run game. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. There's a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The one two struck him out looking with the off speed stuff just locked him up right there for the second out and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while didn't pull the trigger not how you want to go down in an RBI spot so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up Ryan McMahon steps to the plate grounded out his first time up in there for strike one Left-hand batter waits. Swings through that one. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning.
as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, number 38. Michael Stefano. The right-hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Bryant makes the grab, one down. Now back, second base. David. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. First time up was a pop out. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. The 0 2. In the dirt. On to first. Oh. Fletcher retired. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two strike approach. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. That ends the frame. Angels go down 1 2 3 as the lead remains 3 1. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the first baseman, Lowry's Montero. The pitch. There's a strike. All these Rockies doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, oh, but the, the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Kicks and fires. On the ground. Tosses to first. One up, one down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. That one's in there, 0-1. Fastball for a strike, and it's nothing in two. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up, hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. The 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. And that's in the dirt. One and two to count. Stays alive. And now it's even up. It's softly on the ground to third. Rolls across the diamond, two up, two down. The bat, the catcher, Austin. Wins. Austin wins, digging in for the Rockies. And there's the strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. And a good eye there. Two balls, one strike. 
Two one now. Foul ball. The two two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Brenton Doyle waits on deck. Two outs. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Rockies. And they still trail it here, three to one. Back here in Denver. And now here is Randall Gritchick. The left fielder, Randall Gritchick. The pitch. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Block warming up as well. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 1 1. Pulls that one foul. And a 1 2. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Now the number two hitter, number nine. He's already homered here in this one. And takes low for ball one. Lifted in the air, right field. Bryant pulls that one down, two down. Up next for the Angels, the first baseman, Brandon. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. First offering misses the mark. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. And the Angels are gone in order. And the score stays three to one. Back here at Coors Field. Yeah, the batter now, Brenton Doyle. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. The punch out there, and one away. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Blackman in the box again, takes a strike. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. And a pitch. 
the other way and that's just that's foul the hitting's going to come around he's going to figure it out but right now his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense swung on popped up left side he makes the catch and there's two down so it's their last chance in this one Brendan Rodgers will hit next one for two and that one sliced foul oh one down ripped to the right center and that should be extra bases around first heading for two in safely it's a double and his second hit drove that ball nicely put a great swing on it and it jumped off his back kind of put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double And in scoring position with two away. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Fouled off to the right. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next offering misses down and away. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. That's inside. And now three balls and a strike. And it's second. And now one strike away. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Man on second, two down. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. 3-1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out. But a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.